Hey, good afternoon to you. Uh, this is Mr. Panuka, and uh, today I'm coming live to you from uh, greenhouse number three, where we've got uh, uh, sweet paper. And uh, previously, we've actually given you feedback on uh, this uh, crop. So we've got some details here. Um, Transplanted on the 10th of July 2020, about 1,300 uh, plants. And uh, this is one greenhouse that always tickles you when you uh, come around to look at how it's doing excellent so far. And uh, we're loving this, by the way. Uh, you can actually see from just the uh, performance. Look at that. Excellent um, fruits, oh, green. And actually, when we do diagnosis here, um, it actually gives us almost full marks that uh, we've grown this uh, crop uh, with quite some precision. And um, we can actually see the results. Uh, look at the fruits, uh, blocky as they come great so far and um we're loving this um so tag along we just look at um how the greenhouse is performing uh and i think the tracing has also been on point from our team uh so which is quite good so you can actually see there so we actually do credit this uh, to just our meticulous land preparation, which we have um, demonstrated here before. Um, and one other thing is that I think our fertigation program also has been quite on point, um, coupled with just uh, continued capacity building on our stuff uh, in terms of pruning, uh, fruit balancing, um, and all those aspects that are actually quite critical to get uh, such results. So like you can see now, I'm actually fully amazed here. Uh, quite a very tall crop now. Uh, even if I was to do this, you see that? <laughs> you know, it's actually even taller than me, even if I was to, you know, overstretch my, my arms. So quite some lovely, you know, fruits here. You can see um, and it continues to be extremely quite productive uh, like you can see here uh, we're having quite a number of uh, fruits so this is how our agronomist would advise you need to see um, you know fruits balanced in that manner and not having uh, too many at uh, a given point so like here would actually be found offside because you are seeing two fruits almost at par um so these are some of the lessons that we we get uh so you want to see some kind of zigzag uh, arrangement as part of uh um fruit balancing so overload of fruits is not good because you get you know compromised quality of um of fruits so yeah one would ask today you're in a power dynamos uh t-shirt uh, of course, I do offer solidarity to Power Dynamos because a colleague of mine uh, happens to be the chairman of that. Um, but yeah, we've got to provide support to local teams. Um, well, that aside, yeah, we continue with paper analysis. Uh, just seen some very lovely fruits here. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Um, So this is the other side uh, of uh, this greenhouse. You can actually see uh, the greenery looking all good. Um, have a look at that. So, if you're looking at what really 
leads to such a very good crop. I think you've got quite a number of tidbits that we've provided before. Um, but I think your fertigation, fruit balancing, I think those are very, very critical issues that you need to take into account. And um, we are available. Uh, if you've got any questions on um, just uh, sweet pepper production, um, it's quite one of those complicated uh, crops. Uh, I must actually be very sincere. Um, but I think once you master the ads, you actually get with such a gem uh, of very blocky, lovely um, fruits. Um, look at that. Look at that. So, very lovely. Um, so, what will happen is that when this uh, pepper reaches at the far end there, uh, we are going to top off uh, the tips and then it will actually uh, begin to be a bit more regenerative uh, down here. So as it, soon as it gets there, that's what we're going to do. And uh, another practice that we've seen, uh, which you can actually read and uh, see on YouTube, is uh, topping. So what topping really is, is that uh, once this pepper ages, you're actually going to cut it somewhere here, about a meter um, right here. So right here, and then uh, cut it. And then it begins to be a bit more regenerative. And um, some of the practitioners actually say you actually get much better pepper uh, in your second year. Um, so you can actually keep pepper uh, in the greenhouse for like two years. Some scholars will say, well, the productivity goes down much as you get better fruits, given that the plants would be a bit more, um, you know, grounded. So different schools of, uh, of thought, and um, at Panuka Farm we love to, you know, try new ways of doing things, and so we'll see whether we can uh, uh, adopt any of that. So that's your paper. So all right, folks, um, this was just a quick update for you to appreciate. Uh, our uh, sweet pepper production uh, from this end um, and always we love to show you our deficiency chart so this is our deficiency chart you can actually see you know how the pepper would look like you know when there's uh, issues with nitrogen and uh, you see that and different other uh, nutrients so that helps us, you know, to just cross-check um, what's happening with our paper. Um, so you've got to invest in uh, knowledge, I think, to manage some of these uh, crops. All right, folks. So that's Mr. Panuka. And uh, have a lovely one. Uh, we continue to just check the crops and, uh, yeah, enjoying the scenery. Thank you.